Water is awesome, but humans were not made for swimming, and there are many dangerous and unexplored parts with such hidden secrets inside that shock everyone. Hold on to your horses because these are not regular discoveries that you can make in any river. These are unique and terrifying. Basilisk in a River It is obvious why this made it to the top of our list. Loch Ness Monster is a baby compared to this basilisk. I've heard stories about the Long Serpent in the Amazon River, but I would have never imagined it actually existed. Look at the length of this monster. You can count the scales easily and the people around are not scared for some reason. They're filming everything. It is shocking how chill everyone here is. Imagine this monster just deciding to jump out of the water and, for some reason, I imagine the results not being particularly fun. Shark Attack Fishing is fun and relaxing, at least that's until some wild predator decides to drop in for a bite. Watch this shocking video. As this angler was minding his own business, peacefully fishing in his kayak, out of nowhere, a shark rocketed out of the water to have a bite of his catch. As you can see, the surprise visit from the shark gave the angler the shock of his life. And guess what? That wasn't just any shark, but a junior great white shark. Nile Crocodile Paris is known for being a beautiful and romantic city. The city is full of breathtaking places that people from all over the world visit and adore. This would still be my favorite spot. One of the most romantic locations in Paris is the River Seine. You can take a boat cruise and see all the beautiful spots in the capital city of France. It will pass the Eiffel Tower or other important buildings. Sounds fantastic, right? Perfect! One foreign visitor was a bit surprising for all the Parisians, to say the least. One person spotted a real and living crocodile in the Seine in 1984. Yes, you heard that right. It was a Nile crocodile that had somehow ended up there. It was seen relaxing in the sewers. Perhaps it also wanted to take a nice boat trip through the beautiful city. Animal rescuers caught the terrifying animal and brought it to a safe place. They named her Eleanor. Eleanor is still alive to this day, but isn't allowed to go sightseeing by herself through the streets of Paris anymore. It is unclear how the crocodile had ended up there. Two for one. Imagine fishing by the river on a sunny day, and suddenly you see your fishing line go tight. Any fisherman will tell you that this moment is what they live for. And this is exactly what happened to Chase McGray. When he noticed his line get tight, he reeled in his catch. Obviously, he was excited about what might be on the other end. It felt like a pretty hefty catfish, but when his catch surfaced the water, it was not at all what he expected. There was a fish on the line all right, but there was also something else. See the picture for yourself. It seems Chase was not the only one out fishing that day. It appeared Chase had actually hooked a massive snake that had its teeth sunk into the side of a fish. While it's not strange for fishermen to lose their catch to predators lurking in the river, by the look on Chase's face, I'm certain he was startled by the encounter with the unusual contender. Unlike me, Chase wasn't terrified by his bizarre catch. He also skillfully removed the snake from the hook and detached the reptile from the fish. Both animals were then released back into the river, hopefully to never meet again. Alligator Snapping Turtle Crazy enough, that wasn't the only animal that had been found in the River Seine. A turtle also decided to visit the beautiful river, and it wasn't even a regular turtle. It turned out to be an alligator snapping turtle, a kind that can be dangerous to human beings. The alligator snapping turtle is one of the heaviest freshwater turtles in the world. It doesn't have a regular shell. It is thick, dark, with horns that is similar to that of an alligator. The turtle also has a sharp mouth that can bite and hurt others severely. Its mouth is incredibly strong and powerful. Alligator snapping turtles aren't that large in size, usually around 15 inches, but can weigh up to 220 pounds. In 2009, an old Parisian man was enjoying a walk on a regular Sunday when he spotted the animal. He had to blink a few times to make sure that he was seeing it currently. The man was shocked and immediately told others, who later handled the turtle and the situation. Another shocking animal moment at this river. Ancient Roman Pill If you thought finding the oldest intact shipwreck known to mankind is shocking, then what would you say to the discovery of ancient Roman medicine used to treat eye infections? Researchers stumble upon the shocking find off the coast of Tuscany. On board an ancient Roman trading shipwreck, Rolito del Pozzino, 
Dating back to 140 to 130 BC, the medicinal tablets were kept sealed in tin containers, ensuring the pills inside remained dry for more than two millennia. Finding ancient medicines is pretty rare and fascinating, but finding them in such good condition is something truly shocking. Although it remains to be seen just how effective these tablets would have been as an actual eye treatment, this incredibly rare find is fascinating nonetheless. Crockbait While boating out on a sunny day, this couple thought they were playing. Try to catch the bait with what appeared to be a harmless crocodile. The animal seemed to enjoy the game as it was obediently following the lure as the boat moved along the water. But then all of a sudden, the croc had enough and jumped onto the boat. Not sure what it was trying to sink its teeth in, but man, that was quite a shocking moment. Mata Mata Turtle This wasn't the only scary looking turtle that has been found in a river. This turtle has also been described as an alien looking animal. This turtle has a large bumpy shell as well but accompanied with a long white head and neck. Their heads are actually even longer than their bodies. They are able to extend it a lot. It doesn't look like any other turtle head. It looks a bit similar to a crocodile as well. This animal is called the Mata Mata Turtle. It's a freshwater turtle that lives in the Amazon River. It is a scary looking animal that you probably wouldn't want to come across when you are enjoying a river. Mata Mata Turtles can unexpectedly show up at any part of a river although only in certain rivers. Hopefully, it won't take a holiday to the River Sen, but that wouldn't be surprising at this point either. It feeds on fish by sucking them up completely. Yummy. That's how powerful their mouths are. Enough information for us human beings. Let's stay far, far away from the Mata Matas. Fire on the lake. Every angler has a burning desire to catch the biggest fish in the world. And what these men caught was fiery all right. The footage shows two men on a boat on a lake in Thailand. One of the men stirs the water, and the other one leans forward to the greenish looking water. The moment he puts his hand in the water, the lake bursts into flames. The fire keeps burning for a full minute as the fishers shout in shock. It seems the reason behind this blazing catch is the heavy chemical pollution of the lake. British Museum and the River Thames Let's start off with some amazing historical facts. Amazingly, the River Thames has been home to some pretty incredible historical finds. Even more fascinating is the fact that these discoveries have all ended up in London's British Museum. For example, the decapitated bronze head of Hadrian, from 117 to 138, was found near the London Bridge back in 1834. On top of this, the Battersea Shield, an ancient piece of Celtic art from 350 BC to 50 BC, was uncovered close to the Chelsea Suspension Bridge in 1857. Other Thames finds featured in the British Museum include the Waterloo helmet that dates back to 150 BC and is the only Iron Age helmet with horns found in Europe. I bet you didn't know just how much of the contents from the British Museum in London were hiding out in the Thames River, did you? 2,400-year-old boat found in the Black Sea. In late 2017, an international team of maritime archaeologists, scientists, and marine surveyors were exploring the depths of the Black Sea when they stumbled upon something extraordinary. More than 50 miles off the coast of the Bulgarian city of Burgos, it was a 75-foot-long ancient Greek trading vessel. But it was carbon dating that revealed something that truly shocked the whole world. You see, it turned out that the vessel dates back to 400 BC, making the ship the oldest intact shipwreck known to mankind. The vessel was so well preserved that the rudder and tiller were still in place when the researchers discovered it. I mean, the fact that the vessel was just laying there undisturbed for more than 2,400 years is just fascinating. Another thing that shocked scientists was the fact that the merchant vessel closely resembled a ship that was seen on the side of ancient Greek pottery, such as the Siren Vase. In case you don't know, this vase shows Odysseus, the hero from Homer's epic poem, tied to the mast of a similar ship as he resisted the siren's calls. Soviet Fighter Plane Another fascinating and historical discovery is that of which was found in the Vestula River in Warsaw, Poland. As rivers reached an all-time low back in 2015 because of a prolonged drought, several incredible discoveries surfaced. First, a large amount of Jewish tombstones were uncovered, but even more amazing was the discovery of the World War II Soviet fighter jet alongside the remains of the pilot. These interesting discoveries were not a total shock, as archaeologists knew treasures lay waiting beneath the Vistula River's surface, but because there was no careful way for them to search for them and extract them, they were left undiscovered until 2015. They found these specific treasures near and following the findings of stone fragments from the original Poniatowski Bridge that originally crossed the Vistula River. 
After the explorers found the remnants of the fighter jet, they moved the pieces to a museum in Weisgrad, where restoration works were quick to begin. Whale We're still not done telling you about surprising animals that have been found in rivers. This time, this animal, that you probably would never expect to be in a river, wasn't in a tropical place, but in London. A whale was found in the River Thames. Yes, a real whale. It was unbelievable to everyone in the city. Oh, you're kidding me. The 16-foot-long whale that weighed about 24,400 pounds was casually swimming in the English River. The most exotic animal that the River Thames had had before this was probably some kind of bird or duck. So a huge whale was completely unexpected. It was spotted on Friday, 20th January 2006. Rescuers tried to save the whale, but it got incredibly anxious. Sadly enough, it died from convulsions the next day. It got named Willie by the local people. Crazy enough, another whale was found in the same river, which got named Hesse. Hesse also unfortunately didn't survive. This proved that these whales don't belong in the River Thames. Rest in peace, Willie and Hesse. Italian World War II barge. Due to the record-setting drought in 2022, Po, the largest river in Italy, was so low that it revealed something that shocked everyone who saw it. People couldn't believe their eyes when the Po River revealed a sunken World War II barge called the Zabello that was used to transport supplies during the World War before it sank to the bottom of the Po River near the village of Gualtieri in 1943. Imagine the look on their faces when they laid their eyes upon this incredible find. It was like they were transported straight to the World War II era. The water levels of the Po River already revealed the bow of the ship in the past, but in 2022, due to the worst drought to hit the river in 70 years, much more of the 164-foot long boat was visible. The Zabello barge wasn't the only shocking thing hidden in the Po River that this drought revealed. In March 2022, a volunteer spotted metal sticking out of the sand in Sermide that belonged to the long-lost vehicle the German troops had pushed into the water in 1945. What's even more shocking is that the water was so scarce in some areas that people could walk across the riverbed. The Devil's Spawn When Scott Tanner, a fisherman on a fishing trawler in Nova Scotia, came upon this dark, bizarre-looking creature, he thought he had caught the Devil's Spawn. The creature looked like a hybrid bird with a pointy snout, mean-looking green eyes, and feather-like fins. The older fishermen on the boat said they had never seen anything like this before in all their years of fishing. The odd creature was so shocking to them that the entire production of the boat stopped, just so they could examine the creature more closely. After throwing the thing back into the sea, Scott shared the pictures online. One biology expert said that the creature is actually a long-nosed chimera, a type of deep-sea fish that's rarely seen. Revolutionary War Cannons These cannons found during the routine dredging of the Savannah River are another interesting historical find. It is believed that they come from a British warship that intentionally scuttled during the Revolutionary War. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers released the photos of the pre-Civil War artillery in March of this year after they had cleaned it. What an unbelievable find this is! Further research into the finding of the war cannon suggested these might specifically be linked back to the HMS Rose, a British naval terror. That they only found this wonderful piece of history this year, almost 250 years after they would have wound up there, is mesmerizing. Spiritual Offerings Enough with the animals in the rivers. The River Thames also had some other unexpected things in it. This time, it wasn't an animal, but an object. The River Thames is a place where Londoners and tourists pass by all the time to either take pictures or just relax. But this can change when you find out what objects are lying there in the river. One person had found certain objects in the river that were meant for spiritual offerings. Why was something like that in there, and who did it belong to? One object was some kind of human-like thing with a long and serious-looking face. It wasn't sure what or who this was, but it freaked people out. The other object was a large square copper sheet with signs and Sanskrit on it. It was believed that it had prayers on it, along with a goddess-looking face and an animal. Is there anything we need to know about this river? Baltic Sea Mystery As far as shocking discovery goes, nothing can beat this 196-foot wide unique entity with a vast disc. Twice the size of a football field, it was found by a group of subwater explorers in 2011, deep under the freezing waters of the Gulf of Bothnia in the Baltic Sea region. This unprecedented find is shrouded in mystery and has been referred to as the Baltic Sea Mystery and the Baltic Sea Mystery Object. 
The mysterious object kind of looks like a mushroom, or Star Wars' Millennium Falcon, with a circumference of about 60 feet, and it rises 10 to 13 feet from the seabed in the waters between Sweden and Finland at a depth of about 300 feet. Another shocking thing, I mean besides the object itself, is that its top has cracks filled with unidentified black material. Also, according to the researchers, all electronic equipment stops near the unidentified object. Now that is just weird. Fish with legs. What fisherman in Thailand pulled out of the water will shock you. It looks like a fish with legs. They knew they had to pull out their phones right away and record this video. Once the video went viral, people around the world started trying to guess what kind of fish their bizarre catch was. So far, the best guess is a species of batfish such as the red-lipped batfish. What do you think this is? Scuba diving spiders. Speaking of abnormal animals you might find in a river, have you ever heard of scuba diving spiders? Probably not, and I hadn't either, but it seems scientist Roger Seymour discovered these fascinating little creatures back in 2011 while he was studying animals that lived in rivers and ponds in Australia. When he further researched this exciting species of spider, he discovered there was a bit more than meets the eye. The spiders could actually survive underwater. They also would weave webs to create pockets of air. Because of this, the spiders adapted to spending most of their entire lives underwater and only came up to the surface from time to time. For food, they survived off of underwater organisms, as if spiders weren't creepy enough. Grenade. This finding in the river was another terrifying moment. This time, it was found in the River Cam, the main river that flows through Cambridge. A local, Richard Leach, and his two sons were shocked when they suddenly came close to this object. The father and his children were kayaking, having a great time. While they were kayaking, they were also doing some fishing, magnet fishing to be precise. They used a tool, a magnet, to try and find interesting objects in the river. However, they never expected to find something like this. The magnet suddenly made a large sound. When the family took it out and saw what it was, they couldn't believe it. They were terrified. It was a grenade. They immediately called help, and soon a police officer came who had called bomb disposal. The grenade had to be left alone in the meantime. Soon after, it got examined and the situation got handled. Thankfully, everyone was safe, but it indeed was a terrifying moment. Can you imagine finding a grenade? Sturgeon Beast What this Canadian fishing guide caught in the Fraser River in Chilliwack, British Columbia shocked the entire world. A rare 10 foot long sturgeon fish. The giant fish weighed a whopping 600 pounds and was believed to be close to 100 years old. The fishers were shocked that the sturgeon had never been caught before as it had no tags. They officially tagged it for the first time and released it back into the water. 30 guns Two brothers, Adam and Jacob Cohort, were enjoying their hobby, magnet fishing, in the North Okani River near the city of Athens, Georgia, when they made a bizarre discovery. Over the course of just a few days, they discovered 30 guns from multiple decades, some from the 80s and 90s, and some even from the 1800s. Now that is truly shocking. How in the world did so many guns from different time periods end up there? No one knows, really. The brothers alerted the authorities who took the guns for further inspection just to see if they're connected to some crimes. And in case you're wondering what magnet fishing is, well, it's basically like normal fishing, but instead of a rod, a lever with a large magnet is used to uncover metal objects in the water. Skull. This next thing isn't anything less scary either. This incident took place in Warwickshire by the River Avon in central England. It was a terrifying experience when people had found a skull by this river. Careful. Help immediately got called and the situation got further examined. People thought that it could have been from someone that had been missing. Some of those missing people were considered, but it turned out it didn't belong to any of those people. The skull got taken out of the river for further examination. The researchers then shared that the human skull was about a thousand years old. This probably also explained why the skull was pretty damaged only about half of it was left. It is still unclear who this body part belongs to and how it ended up there, but everyone can agree that it is absolutely terrifying. Things like this absolutely don't belong in rivers or any other outdoor space. Hopefully, no one has to find something like this ever again. The Eerie Swamp Statue And now, we have the very last thing on our list. We have saved the best for last. 
Oh, well, the scariest in this case. This Irish park had something interesting and unexplainable lying in the river. It is located at the place Wicklow in the Indian Sculpture Park in Victor's Way. It was created by Victor Langheld in 1898 after he came back from a spiritual journey in India. The park focuses on self-reflection, although we are not sure what this thing is supposed to reflect on. It has a lot of interesting statues standing in the park, but the thing in the river probably stands out the most. In the river, there is a human being, I think, that looks horrifying. It has his mouth wide open, with sharp teeth and an intimidating look. The whole thing is dark, not only the color, but also the style. The body is extremely thin, almost all the bones are visible. One arm is stretched out and it looks like it wants to attack something. It looks like some kind of water monster that is ready to hurt some people. Super scary. What is the scariest thing you have ever found in a river? Hopefully it wasn't anything like these things. Let us know in the comments. NYC's East River Monster. Despite how much I hate spiders, I even have to admit that this next find is even worse than them. Back in 2012, Denise Ginley found a giant, grotesque monster along the east side shore of the New York City's river. They dubbed the peculiar creature the Monster of Manhattan, and if you look at some pictures, it's easy to guess why. However, there's been a lot of speculation about what exactly this creature is, and the answer is more terrifying than if it were a monster. It's no secret New York City's river is a bit, well, grimy. Over recent decades, people have pulled a lot of unsavory things from it, and its pollution has a pretty severe effect on some of the local wildlife, primarily fish. As well as this, though, there have been many findings of giant mutant rats in the river, which is what it was first thought the Manhattan monster was. However, people soon concluded that even for a mutant rat, the monster they found was pretty big. So after further research, they proved that this bloated, grotesque thing is actually a dog. I know, how on earth is that thing in any way a dog? Apparently, it is likely the monster is a decomposing dog carcass that had been floating in the river for some time. So much time that the hair had all fallen off the body. Mysterious figurines of the Baltic Sea. In the summer of 2020, a 51-year-old truck driver by the name of Ronald Borgward discovered something truly shocking while snorkeling in the Tallens River on Germany's Baltic coast. It was a 6-inch tall bronze figurine that looked bizarre to say the least. It had an egg-shaped head, looped arms, knobby breasts, and a weird nose. So it basically looked like some sort of alien. This find was so shocking that an archaeologist, Thomas Turberger, called it an archaeological riddle. According to him, the mysterious figurine dates to the 7th century BC and was either a balance weight, an object of worship, or a combination of both. What's even more shocking is the fact that 24 years prior to this discovery, Ronald's father had stumbled upon a bunch of bones jutting from a bank. Now that is just freaky. Sniper guns. Magnet fishing is a style of fishing when fishers throw a super strong magnet attached to a thick rope into a river, lake, canal, or even sewer to see what they can catch. An 11 year old boy from Florida wanted to try out magnetic fishing after watching several videos about it online. What he pulled out of the water truly shocked them. It seems this magnet was attached to two sniper rifles. Thankfully, they weren't loaded. Each rifle weighed about 20 pounds and it's believed that they were worth $20,000. This discovery gives a whole new meaning to beginner's luck. Elmo. Do you remember Sesame Street? That should be fun, right? And do you also remember the character Elmo? This character was happy and bubbly, but in this particular situation that had to do with a river, it all turned a little scary. It was almost as if it was Sesame Street after dark in real life. One parent was canoeing with his child in a river when they came across something creepy. Sesame Street normally would be fun for this child, but not in this case. In the water, the family saw something strange, as if someone was looking at them. They saw two big eyes sticking out of the water, but it took them a while to realize what it was. After a while, they saw that it looked like the one and only Elmo, but in a scary way. It was an Elmo doll that was completely black and seemed as if it was drowning. Only the upper part of the head, the big eyes and nose were sticking out. 
Elmo wasn't having much fun that day. Giant tuna miles from natural habitat. Last but not least is something less gross but as captivating as the monster of Manhattan. A group of friends were kayaking on the River Severn and found something pretty surprising that highlights just how much climate change is influencing local wildlife. But what did they find? Only a giant tuna, over 6.5 feet, 2 meters long, and almost 150 pounds, 68 kilograms heavy. The size of the tuna alone wasn't the thing that shocked people, because tunas do get that big. But the mysterious thing about the find was that the giant fish was miles and miles away from its natural habitat. As experts rushed to inspect the fish, they could not determine what brought it here and how it died. Perhaps the gigantic fish made its way into the estuary, hoping to find warmer waters, something it would not have done if it were not for the changing climate. Others argued it was possibly that massive tides brought the huge fish upstream, though there is no way to be sure. Which of these unusual finds shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you soon for another video.